فيها bloodshed invasion 15 years have passed since the US led invasion of Iraq but the influence still lingers in politics in society and in the culture and art world ring of U.S. soldiers stand guard over a fenced-in territory, a monument so unstable that it's held together by brown packing tape. The structure threatens to collapse as it sags under its own weight. If the monument disappears, what shall remain behind? This is the question centering around this artwork and arguably the invasion of Iraq for artist Thomas Hichon. It's a starting point of anger and frustration at policy that's, you know, at beyond our control as citizens. To many people who made this piece a viral hit, this grotesquely comic artwork says it all. Only former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair would think that's a good photo opportunity. These paintings display chaos, fragments of lives dismantled by troops, gunfire and bloodshed. Yet Esam Pasha paints through feverish strokes of every happy color imaginable. That's because the young Iraqi artist conforms to hope as the most striking form of protest. Every time Iraq uh, rise from the ashes just like the phoenix and I think that's a very uh, optimist uh, idea and inspires the optimist name. <laughs> This was one of the most symbolic moments of the US-led invasion of Iraq. And this became an iconic artwork stemming from the invasion itself. A dark sculpture placing former US President George W. Bush's shoes around his portrait with an ironic caption. Bush ducked in the moment, avoiding being hit by either of the shoes, but farewell kissed by Mahmoud Abaidi seems to have hit the spot. This colossal work by eminent Iraqi artist conveys suffering and confusion whilst acting as a manifesto of sorts, a reaction against and commentary upon the US invasion of Iraq. We got a war after war, the sanction, destruction, and this is the implication of all these. It definitely put me in a position which I have to create work. It's not to document, but more than to uh, give a voice of, of, uh, of a protest against the destruction of my country.